Did you know that a single car tire contains over 200 different materials and takes about 12 hours to manufacture? That's longer than it takes to bake 144 batches of cookies. Wow. But here's the real kicker. Without these rubber rings of engineering brilliance, we'd all be riding around on metal wheels like something out of the Stone Age. Ever wondered why tires are black and not their natural white color? Stick around, because that's just one of the fascinating secrets we're about to uncover. You might think tires are just rubber donuts that keep your car from scraping the road. Yes! Definitely. That's what I thought too, until I discovered that modern tires are more like a layer cake of engineering, except this cake could save your life. What really goes into these mysterious black circles? And why can't we just use solid rubber instead of all these complex layers? Picture this, you're standing in a tire factory where the air smells like a mix between a chemistry lab and a rubber band factory. The journey begins with what looks like a giant cooking show, except instead of flour and sugar, we're mixing natural and synthetic rubbers with something called carbon black. Fun fact, without carbon black, your tires would wear out faster than a pencil in a room full of bored students. But here's what keeps me up at night. How did someone figure out that adding basically sophisticated soot would make tires last longer? Ever played with a rubber band and noticed how it gets hot when stretched? Now imagine that happening to your tires at 70 miles per hour. That's why the next stage is crucial, forming the tire components. Workers and machines dance together in a carefully choreographed performance, laying down layer after layer like the world's most complicated sandwich. But here's what blows my mind. How do they know exactly where each layer needs to go? And why do some tires last 50,000 miles while others barely make it to 30,000? Now comes the part that would make any baker jealous. The vulcanization process. Think of it as sending your tire to a spa, except this spa is more like a pressure cooker meets a waffle iron. The tire gets heated and pressed into its final shape, creating that familiar tread pattern we all know. But wait, have you ever wondered why tire treads have such specific patterns? And why don't we see square tires since they'd give us more contact with the road? The quality control stage is where things get really interesting. Each tire goes through more tests than a student during finals week. They're x-rayed, balanced, and checked for uniformity. Some even get sliced open like a birthday cake to ensure everything's perfect inside. But here's what keeps tire engineers awake at night. How do you test a tire for every possible scenario it might face on the road? Remember the black color we talked about earlier? Here's the mind-bending truth. Adding carbon black doesn't just make tires look cool. It makes them nearly eight times stronger and helps them resist UV radiation. Without it, your tires would crack faster than an egg in a juggling competition. Speaking of which, did you know that the amount of force a tire can handle is enough to crush a small car? That's right, those rubber rings are secretly superheroes. As we wrap up our journey through the tire factory, think about this. Every time you hit the brakes, turn a corner, or drive through a puddle, there's an incredible feat of engineering keeping you safe. Those black rubber circles are actually more sophisticated than the first computers. But here's one last brain teaser to keep you wondering. Why do race cars use bald tires when we're told that's dangerous for regular cars? So next time you hear that familiar hum of rubber meeting road, remember, you're riding on what might be one of humanity's most underappreciated inventions, and if you think this was interesting, just wait until you learn about what's coming next in tire technology. Self-healing tires, anyone?